great. We were, I was, uh, I had applied for disability, I got my disability, because I'm an old man. That's what it says on paper, it's just work. And um, basically, we were praying about it, we were looking at places, and I said, well, I got to, I don't drive because of my seizure, I got to be where I can walk to church. And so Kenneth Hollis put the humongous trailer in the parking lot, and I said, if you let me have that for $450 a month, I'll take it. He said, you can have it. That's what we paid. Four fifty a month, that includes our, our water and our sewer, which I understand is kind of high here in Little Fayette. The thing I want to say to anybody is the key to the blessings the Lord gave us and the key to me and Carlene, we're married now, working through the infidelity, the loss of everything we own, was being faithful being obedient, and listening to our pastors. In the three years I've been here, did I agree with everything the pastor said? No, some of it made me mad. Did I get offended? Yes, I got offended. Sometimes it was something the pastor said, sometimes the people in the church. But I kept my eyes on Jesus. I stayed faithful and obedient. And I didn't leave just because Pastor Dorothy said, well, if you're not married, you need to get married or you're not going to heaven. I didn't go and find a pastor that agreed with me. I worked towards what I knew God wanted me to do. God called me here. God planted me here. And here's where I needed to stay. And like I said, keep my eyes on Jesus. Be faithful and be obedient. Uh, this month, Carl and I started our company back up. And we are very happy. Shortly, the short thing is, be faithful, be obedient, <coughs> keep your eyes on Jesus, and listen to what God says. And God will bless you. And no matter what you lost because you were stupid or if you weren't listening, uh, I, I'm going to tell some of you younger people, and then we'll have a whole lot of younger people here. In October, when we lost everything, that February, March, God said, it's time for you to quit playing around, grow up, and serve me. I told him I was too busy. <laughs> By October, I had plenty of time. Uh, but be faithful, be obedient. God will bless you. And keep your eyes on Jesus, because if you put your eyes on people, you're going to get mad, you're going to leave, and then be out of the will of God. You'll be in a church that will agree with you, but it will not help you. Amen. And never, never uh, hesitate to go to our pastors if you have a problem, if you have a question, and talk to them because they will listen. You might not like what they say, but what they say will.